Welcome to YouTube video for this freshly traded in a beautiful way over average condition way above average condition 1995 Cobra C7 seven C's limited it's a 22 feet motorhome I think it's called a 122 model Chevy 350 runs excellent no water leaks in this video I'm gonna show you everything a couple that just traded in they bought it two years ago intend to travel everywhere they went to Canada Nova Scotia they put on some miles spent almost eight thousand dollars with a documented receipts I mean I'm talking about they did all kinds of stuff and bought it for about twelve thousand dollars so you can do the math almost twenty thousand dollars this motorhome but we're gonna be asking a lot less than that so you getting a bargain now once again I'm gonna tell you what you could find some of these motorhome in somebody's backyard sitting around water been leaking uh, everything is messed up oh man we'll get buy this Cobra for five thousand dollars well go buy yourself a brand uh, junk you know uh, you're gonna be working on it every weekend you, instead of going to camp all right so let me clear that out this is if you're gonna be calling me talking about what the thing worth on any of your book save yourself breath do not call me it's gonna be a firm price a good motorhome air conditioned work has been converted it's just just really nice motorhome the guy even changed the bezel in the front didn't like the front he changed it take a look at this beautiful condition for 95 22 footer take a look at it here no water leaks some of these class C they sag down here and water leaking down everything delaminated again it is a 95 so it's a 21 year old motorhome it's not new take a look at this really nice original carpet you'll see it inside even cruise control works look at the seat and interiors I mean, it's really nice the people that just traded in on a 36 feet diesel pusher he has an airplane so you can tell what kind of meticulous person that, that is who owns the airplane take care of he took care of everything got a little d lamb one here one in the back but that's that's just the age related stuff we got a 4,000 watt 4,000 watts on end generator runs great I believe about 250 hours or something got some storage not a whole lot but there is storage that's your 50 amp I mean 30 amp power cord that's your potable water intake that's your city water water hookup let's take a look at the tires they're not new but look at them no dry rod at cracks good tires they're not new but they're in good shape you don't need tires if you want new tires you can spend eight hundred dollars to two thousand dollars depending on Michelin or uh, uh, Japanese or Chinese tires all right pretty clean coach really clean no body damage that I see it's been sealed properly all right back here spare wheel we're gonna get up top and show you the roof too let's take a look at this it's a rubber roof good condition you could wash it and make it look good or you can repaint it in a couple of years but it does not need any uh, maintenance right now got max air on all the vents in the front and there are two in the back take a look at the front cap or whatever they call good seal no dry rotted um, ceiling all right roof air conditioner they must have a little crack they put this aluminum HVAC tape a good job there got a king dome dish that satellite dish probably cost back in the days fifteen hundred dollars you can buy them for six seven hundred dollars now but it is automatic satellite dish you still have antenna take a look at a refrigerator vent cover back here in a bathroom and a corner bathroom and a uh, kitchen area max air on top that's a really good thing that's your shower cap in good condition all right we'll continue on the bottom we got a Reese type 3 hitch with a four flat pin hookup so you could tow something all right let's see uh, take a look at on this side now straight body there was a couple of little DLAM on the other side I don't see it on this side if I do I don't know but I don't see it it looks pretty straight it's got a six gallon hot water heater a little more I think this is the LP it's locked up that's the LP access we got a burner I mean it's a suburban gas heat propane that's a rear access to your refrigerator it runs great got new microwave you'll see it awning don't have any rips or tears may have just a tiny little tears I see on both sides yes I do like to tell you that you could tape it up or you can get a new fabric for about 150 bucks uh, so you could change that fabric if you like to but it's not that bad it does have a little tear uh, a little more storage again take a look at the tires there are no dry rotted cracks they're not new they may be several years old but 
they don't need to be changed. The tire guy will tell you. I mean, some people get stuck or, hey, if they're over the seven years old, you gotta have new. Well, you could have new if you'd like to, but we're not gonna change them. Tire's in good shape. Again, really good shape. All right, let's step inside the coach. 22 feet. Got a little extra handicap accessible arm, or what do you call handle. All right, let's come in. This is a original carpet, but in really good shape. We're gonna probably have it detailed and shampooed. They had a plastic running down here and we ripped, ripped it off. That's why you see a little couple of shades here. But look at this interior. I think these seats and this were, I think, I believe they said they reupholstered it. Yep, driver, passenger seat, and these were reupholstered. They put a memory foam in here. And the previous owner was so proud of it, they said, sit down. And he made me sit down and I'll tell you what, it feels so comfortable. So this was uh, redone. It opens up in the bed. Over here, this booth down, it also folds down in the bed. Becomes bed, you got all the books and manuals are right here. Wow, older motorhome, but very well capped. What he did, the previous owner ran the wire here and he had his LCD TV was standing up right here. He's put a big TV here. I think it was a 32 inch TV. He put it up here to watch. But this thing is a place you can have one person or two person can sleep up here. Let's show you this too. Take a look at here. Good shape, solid walls. It is a 95, but in really good shape. Some cabinet up top here. Got a little coat closet here. Some drawers, more storage. And they got some beans right here, plastic beans that come out, in and out. Corner bathroom, stand up shower. Um, little sink here and medicine cabinet and some more storage under there. And it has a corner. Let's see. It's got regular standard uh, pull kind of a blinds here. So it'll give you a lot more light if you got it up. Uh, dual sink. Let's see, three burner gas stove. Really clean for 95 models. Standard oven. And this is about a month old microwave. He said the microwave blew up. He put a brand new oven and did a good job putting it in there. Some closet up here. More storage here with the drawers. And that's your generator remote start. 278 hours. Air conditioning is running right now. It's pretty cool. I'm sorry. Double door refrigerator. It runs on LP gas. I'm going to turn it off. Or electric power. This concludes our video on this 1995 Cobra with about 63,000 miles. I also have a test drive video that I'll glue it, up, uh, glue it together in here. Well, I almost forgot about this Kingdom satellite disc uh, controllers here right under the seat. There are more controllers. So if you like to, you got to have your receiver and hook it up. We don't go into that, but you could turn a TV front or outside, but you have a in motion type automatic satellite dish. Give me a call for any questions. I don't believe this motorhome is going to stay too long because I'm going to be aggressive on the price and it's going to be firm price and it will be sold pretty fast. So grab it while you can. My number is 864-404-0054. I prefer text, so text me, I'll get back to you. Or 864-404-0054. Uh, Thank you so much. 22 feet, Cobra, in camp and a road ready condition. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day. Test drive video for this 1995 Cobra, 22 foot. Recently traded in, only 63,000 miles. Drove from Atlanta to Greenville. Speaking of, drove on the road. It's been to Nova Scotia, Canada and back. The couple had it, bought it two years ago. Got almost eight to $9,000 worth of documented receipts that what they have done to the motorhome, including resealing a roof, dome dish, all the maintenance been done, runs excellent. Here we go, let's put a cruise on.
Yep, cruise works. Doing about 65, 70 miles an hour on interstate. It does not pull left or right, steer straight. Dash air works great. Please take a look at all our pictures. I want this long video with the walkthrough. Give me a call. I prefer tax 864-404-0054. The number again is 864-404-0054. Have a great day. Thank you.